Warning, the story you are about to hear from Paul Brooks has not been independently verified. Paul's memory sucks, and therefore, some or even most of the details could be completely wrong. We just don't know. Thank you, and please enjoy story time. Hey everybody, Paul Brooks here with you again for B-Movie Mania. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. And uh, we're back today with another YouTube exclusive video for the channel here. And I'm going to try something that we've never done before on this channel. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a story time. Uh, a little bit of a throwback thing, if you will. And uh, this, this particular story that I'm going to tell has to do with something that happened to me and fellow B-Movie maniac Jason Hulls. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Not really going to be talking about any B-movies. Um, this is, like I said, this is a little something different. So if you came here for uh, B-movie talk, this might not be the video for you. Fair warning. So our story begins about 150 years ago in 1997. I was living at this house right here on Normal Avenue in Normal, Illinois. And believe it or not, Jay was living with me. Uh, Jay lived with me for a very brief time in 1997. Maybe it was early 1998, I don't know. The point is we were living together and so one day I had an idea. I had a little plan that I put together. And I said to Jay, uh, how would you like to get some lunch? How about we go to McDonald's and pick up some lunch today? Jay said, great, sounds awesome. Now, Jay's thinking to himself, great, this is going to be nice and easy. We'll go right down the street to Bone Student Center because we had a McDonald's inside the Bone Student Center, which was just like a minute drive down the street from where he and I were living at the time. So he's excited about this, you know, but, but I had different plans. I had a very diabolical plan for this little lunch trip. I knew that on the far side of town, all the way in South Bloomington, there was a McDonald's down there as well. And I was gonna take Jay all the way from North Normal to South Bloomington on this trip to McDonald's. And to make the trip kind of special, you know, to really, to really, uh, you know, make him just feel terrible about the entire situation, um, he and I were very uh, into music at the time. We were in a band called Dimension Zero. You know, it's the late 90s, so everybody is into this, this sort of thing. We were doing our heavy metal thing, and, and it was good. We had recently heard a song by the band Papa Roach, and, you know, they had a big hit in the late 90s called, uh, what was it called, My Last Resort. No offense whatsoever to, to Papa Roach, no offense to any fans of Papa Roach, but it just wasn't for me. I didn't care for the song, I didn't really care for the sound of the band. I'm sure they're uh, perfectly nice guys, but I didn't care for the song and neither did Jay. So what I did for this little trip to McDonald's was I had a, I had a little machine that you could use uh, to loop music and I burned a CD, and I have it, believe it or not, right here. This is the actual CD that I burned all those years ago. This is actually a loop of just the riff from my last resort. And I put just the loop on this CD for 77 minutes. And my plan, and what happened, was I put this CD on. I said, Jay, I'll drive. Don't worry about it. I'll drive you to McDonald's. I put this CD on my stereo and I cranked it. I mean, I just cranked it up to 10 for him. And we drove all the way to South Bloomington to get McDonald's. And I'm just headbanging the whole time. I'm just loving it. Jay is right over here in the passenger seat. He is not happy at all. He thought that we were taking a quick little run to the Bone Student Center down the street for some McDonald's, and I'm driving him all the way across town. 
You should have seen the look on his face, let me tell you. But I thought it might be fun to put this CD in right now as I'm driving. I'm out, you know, just running some errands. And I figured, let's go get some lunch. Let's go to that McDonald's in South Bloomington and, and recreate the trip all the way from where I am right now in North Normal, all the way to the McDonald's in South Bloomington. Jay's obviously not here with me to recreate this experience. Um, I, you know, to be honest, who knows if he's ever going to be back in Bloomington Normal. It could be years, it could be never. So I'm just, I'm gonna do this solo, you know, and we're gonna, we're going to uh, recreate the experience. So I hope that you come with me on this journey. First of all, let's test the CD. There's something in here. Let's see what my mom is listening to. Inspiration from Dr. Dwayne, from Dr. Wayne Dyer, disc three. If it works, I'm gonna jam the whole time all the way down to South Bloomington. Here we go. Still listening to it. it. It doesn't sound very good. Still going. It's sounding funky. We're getting close to McDonald's. I think we're gonna make it. All right, we're here. We made it. There's a hell of a line. So I'm just gonna hop in the drive-thru here and get some food and keep rocking. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, I haven't been to this McDonald's in a long time, so I'm pretty excited. All right. Okay, let me get a number three, please. You want a good drink? Uh, just a regular Coke. Today? Yep, that's it. Thank you. All right, nice Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Could I get some ketchup and some honey mustard? Yep. Trying to think to myself, when we came down here in 1997, did me and Jay, did we go in? Did we go in and eat? Did we go to the drive-thru and take it? We wouldn't have taken it all the way back home. I don't remember. Jay, if you're watching, and I would hope that you are at some point, Leave a comment down below and let let me and all the other viewers know what your memories of that trip were. And specifically let us know if you remember going inside to eat. And tell us how pissed off you were about the entire thing. There's a lot of a lot of Papa Roach that day. Still going on right now. We're at uh, we're 35 minutes in right now. But uh you know, Jay, I hope you enjoyed uh, 
little nostalgic look back here. And everybody else, I hope you enjoyed the story and the look back at, you know, that magical, magical day in, in 1997. If you're ever in uh, the Bloomington Normal area, why don't you stop stop into this McDonald's and say hi and, and say, I saw that video on YouTube. They'll probably know what you're talking about. I don't think this is what I meant to get. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you're doing well. Mike, Chris, sorry we didn't have too much to say about you in this video right here, but you know what? Think about doing your own uh, story time video. I've had a lot of fun putting this one together, so I'm sure you got some fun stories to tell about each other. I know you do. So hopefully we'll see you on the next episode of B-Movie Mania Presents Storytime. Cheers. Ah.